for Off the Block. I'm Dane Lipson. We are now joined by the head coach of King University, Ryan Boer, as his team's preparing for the 2020 season. And, Coach, last time the volleyball community as a whole really saw you guys in earnest was April. You're one point away from a con- from repeating as conference champions. What has been the biggest difference in your team from that time in April to now? Um, you know, we lost uh, three really great players, but uh, just sort of a, a hungry team to get back to where we were and, and try to do it again. But, uh, you know, uh, young and learning at times and, and still got some veteran leadership as well. Well, Coach, talking about the, the youngest of your team, you have your three pin, starting pins from last year all returning, all still have at least two more years. That, you know, in Harris's case, uh, he's going into his sophomore season. But what can we expect for, uh, from them, especially some of the numbers they put up towards the end of the season? Yeah, I look forward to the, the, those three progressing because, again, they were both uh, – or all three young and a couple first-year players and, and you know, coming in. And, and I, I think they're going to just keep getting better every day. Uh, I expect a little more defensively out of them, especially blocking and and with Josh and, and, and Tony but uh, and, you know, even Sean. But, uh, you know, I think offensively they can keep getting better with more shots and, and increasing their vertical and just doing a lot of different things. I want to ask you with uh, Sean, you know, you put up so such big offensive numbers, you know, last season and everything. Kind of got a taste of kind of being the one of those players that teams kind of scout and game plan around. How do you feel they feel handle that even more more this year with teams really keen on him during the 2020 season? Um, I think he he's going to accept the challenge. I think uh, Sean is one of those guys that just uh, doesn't settle for just, you know, what he's at. He wants to get better every day, and he wants to work on a new shot or a new swing or, or you know, just uh, seeing something different and knowing other teams are going to game plan against him. I think he's going to come out and be willing to make changes and adjustments in his swing. Coach, you guys had an opportunity this fall to, you know, get get in the gym, play some exhibition matches. What was the m- most positive thing that surprised you about, or not necessarily surprised you, but what was the most positive thing you took away from your preseason training this fall? Uh, I really thought uh, our blocking was good. I mean, we lost uh, John Wheaton, who was a phenomenal blocker, and Dalton Johnson, who was a phenomenal blocker, two middles. Um, I overall thought our blocking was, was better than where I expected it to be with the uh, young middles coming. Yeah. Well, Coach, talking about that blocking with the young middles, you know, um, replacing, replacing a lot there with John Wheaton graduating, you know, have you settled on kind of that starting lineup yet for the middles, or is that still kind of a position battle to get to be played out? Uh, I think we've still got a position battle. There's probably, uh, you know, uh, out of the four middles we have, I think at any point in time, they're all going to see a little bit of playing time. Um, Julian Young has really stepped up being the a senior. I think he's going to do a good job running middle, but the between Miguel, Douglas, and, and Adam, I think we've got a battle going. Coach, you kind of look at, at the conference as a whole, and I want to get, you know, kind of your perspective these years, but kind of from the, um, you know, the fan looking at the casual fan, they see you, they see Barton, they kind of see that you two are kind of starting to establish yourselves as kind of those top two teams in the conference. Do you guys, though, view, view it that way um, internally and kind of just being the grind of the conference Carolinas? Um, I mean, I do feel like, uh, you know, Barton and, and, we, and us have been there at the top, but I feel like uh, it's starting to balance out. There's a lot of good teams. Belmont Abbey uh, has a lot of returners and should be a strong team. Limestone, uh, you know, got to the Final Four last year uh, he, with Mount Olive. He always does a great job, and I feel like, uh, you know, North Greenville, I mean, I think it's going to be a, a battle every night in our conference. Coach, I want to ask you a couple more questions be- before we let you go. Uh, First, I want to ask you about this freshman recruiting class. You know, one of the things that stands out is you really have seemed to be going across the nation here, getting recruits from Florida and as far north as, as Wisconsin. And I want to ask, how has it been easier, not that it was difficult in the past, but easier to kind of sell, you know, King as that brand name, given all the recent success you've had in making the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think it, it has made it, you know, got us our name out there in a lot of places. Um, you know, us going to Ohio State a couple of years ago and winning conference and seeing that I think the growth of the game, especially, you know, the Southeast in our conference, is that there is an automatic bid and a chance to go play at the national level. And uh, I think it's helped us out um, immensely. It's made it a little more easier and gotten our name out to different places. Right. And among those freshmen, has there been one in particular that's really stood out to you in this training block? Uh, yeah, our, our freshman setter, Jack Sarnowski. Um, he's done a really good job. I think him and JT Debbie are going to be, uh, you know, mixing it up a little bit setting, but Jack's really come out and played really well in our, in our preseason. Yeah. Well, and coach, kind of talking about your team as a whole, you know, um, 
what can fans expect to see from King this year when they see them on the court? Um, I think they're going to see a lot of energy. I think we've got a young group that just loves to get out there and play. Um, and I don't. I think we're going to be, you know, we're not going to give up. I think that's been one of our uh, mottos for the last few years is we're going to battle until the end and give you everything we've got every night. Yeah. Well, and Coach, talking about, you know, bringing the energy, there's one big match where there's definitely going to be a lot of energy. Your home match in January against Hawaii. And I ask, what does that mean for you to have, you know, likely the number one team in the country coming to your court? You know, I, it's phenomenal to have them coming to, to Tennessee. Um, you know, and, and Coach Wade's been great about coming back and, and helping grow the game. And I think it's going to be big for our area to have, you know, you know, the potential number one team in the nation coming to play in our gym. And to have a shot at playing them, I'm hoping to get a big crowd and to see what uh, some great volleyball will be. Perfect. Well, Coach, uh, one final question. We'll, we'll we'll let you go on this. You know, one of the interesting things about King is you guys have a lot of sports, and a lot of sports people may not know about, from bass fishing all the way to esports. Uh, what is it like to be part of an athletics department that just has so many opportunities for student athletes? No, it's great. Um, you know, getting to know these sports because I don't know anything about esports. I am not yeah. a video game person, but yeah, same to here, watch same here. <laughs> to watch them do stuff and and to know how they do it is great. Um, I do like to fish on occasion, but the level they do it, that's a whole other thing. And just, just seeing these these uh, student athletes have another opportunity, it may be a different thing than what we do. And it's just to appreciate them, I think it's great. And plus, you know, vice versa, they start to see men's volleyball, and then they're like, oh, this is actually pretty fun too. So we all work really well together, and it's great to have a school that has the opportunity for so many people to, I guess, compete and, and study.